The conventional method of doing motion blur is to render the scene several times per frame and blend them together. This can be done in real time if only one image per frame is rendered and is blended with the previously rendered image using the accumulation buffer. Although this can be run at high frame rates, it produces very distracting ghosting artifacts as you see here. We present an alternative motion blur effect, accelerated by the vertex and pixel shading hardware. We produce the effect in the following steps. First we render the scene to an image texture. Next we render the optic flow vector field of the scene. This is accomplished with the vertex shader. We pass the current and previous transformation matrices to the vertex shader. The per vertex velocity vectors are computed and encoded as colors. In addition, we displace the vertices by their velocity vectors, thus warping the object. The optic flow is stored as an offset texture. An image can be warped by displacing its texture coordinates by an offset texture. We now begin to compute the line integral convolution. This is done by blending the source image and the image warped by the pixel shader using an offset texture. The warped and blended image is used as the source image for the next iteration. This is what it looks like after three iterations. This is repeated many times to produce the final blurred image. This example uses about 30 iterations. In conclusion, as virtual worlds become more complex, it is important to consider how special effects will scale when applied to scene complexities approaching millions of triangles. Our method is an image-based technique, independent of scene complexity.